Hello everyone, Indro here. I just found a 15 year old drawing of mine where a ninja is battling a skeleton demon and I thought why not photoshop it. Now I don't want to waste any of your precious time but I really want to tell you a little backstory so that you can understand where this is coming from. Well this is pretty nostalgic to me and me being a 90s kid I used to play a lot of 8-bit arcade NES video games and there was this game called Ninja Gaiden which really had an impact on me. The version I had was in Japanese and I didn't understand anything and that even pushed me to learn a little bit of Japanese here. Yeah. So this game, be it the storytelling, the action and even the cinematic cutscenes, everything was so awesome. I really had no idea an 8-bit video game can offer something like this. So it always stayed on my mind and after a few months I did this drawing loosely based on the game. Now fast forward to 15 years in the present, we can give it a photoshop treatment and turn it into something ninjastic. I will go for a painterly look here and try to recreate that 90s retro poster vibe. Now this composition took more than 10 hours for me to complete and I'm going to squeeze it into a 10 minute video but I will try to share most of the knowledge that I learned while doing this. I hope you will stay with me till the end and I won't disappoint you. I hope you will find it helpful. By the way, the caption in this artwork is written in Pigpen Cypher. If any one of you knows Pigpen or you can search it up and if you find out what I have written over here, be sure to let me know in the comments below. I'll give you cookies, for sure. Now for the stocks, it's really hard to find a good stock image of the ninja. And I searched everywhere and then I landed upon Phelan Devian's profile on DeviantArt and just look at his profile. He has got the most perfect action stocks. And this was the exact pose that I was looking for. This profile is just a treasure trove. Okay, now that we have our ninja hero, we need to find the demon. Now, initially I sketched a skeleton demon, but I really wanted to do a samurai demon. So I thought about taking a samurai image and add some bones and a skeleton on top of it. But I went a little lazy and I went into art station and searched with zombie samurai. And I found this perfect 3D model of a zombie samurai. This is by Carlos Castillo. And I have put links to all of these images and other stock images that I'll be using here. They are in the description section, be sure to check them out. Now that we have our hero and the demon, let's go ahead and start with the composition. I started with placing our ninja hero on the canvas and extracted him out. At one point I even thought about replacing the katana with a ninjato. Now if you don't know the difference between a ninjato and a katana, be sure to google it up. But the saya or the scabbard was pretty hard to work with so i just stayed with the katana and i always love this beautiful carve of the katana anyways i worked on the foreground created some cliff edge and some grassy areas and then went ahead with the background i added some perspective lines and added some mountains for the backdrop then I placed the zombie samurai, I extracted it out from the background. Then I realized the ninja was actually looking towards the left. So I fixed that by duplicating the head and flipping it horizontally, masked here and there and blended it correctly. Now I want to do a burning village on the ground so this was the image I went with and added some smoke. I painted on the layer mask with a brush to create the smoke exactly where I wanted it. And then I went ahead with a couple of images of these beautiful castles and tried to create that horizon line. I extracted them out from the backdrop and placed them where I felt right. And then I went ahead with the color grading but something was not going that good so I ended up creating a tone map of everything. I painted things at the furthest with a lighter shade of grey and things which is closest to the viewer in the darkest shade of grey. And all the layers are being separated like the sky, the mountains, the castle, the demon, the village and the hero and the foreground. They are on separate layers so that I can refer to them when I'll be color grading the actual images. So based on those tonal values, I started adding the gray tone or the color values on our different objects. I quickly created a color cast on the sky and I initially thought about going with the complementary colors of red and green for our entire composition but at the end I also added up blues and yellows. 
and I was not sure what I would be using to get those correct colors I was having in my mind so I ended up adding lots of adjustment layers like hue saturation to tone down the actual colors, exposure to control the gray values and then I also added a color lookup table called the futuristic plaque and also added a solid color fill in the shade of lavender to get this greenish grayish tone. I know I went with too many adjustment layers, this is not right, you can do it much easier. Then I duplicated that same set of adjustment layers onto every object, clipped them to those objects and I played with the exposure layer to get the correct gray tonal values. Here I also created a hue saturation layer, checked the colorized checkbox, took a shade of greenish blue and cranked up the saturation and the lightness and painted on an inverted layer mask to create the highlight on the mountains. Next this banner was not looking that good so removed it and also the arrows were pretty large we have to scale it down based on the scale of the demon. So once that is done I added some dark tones using the exposure layer on our castle and also created a hue saturation layer, checked the colorized checkbox, took a shade of greenish blue, cranked up the lightness and the saturation and painted on the inverted layer mask with white to get our highlights. I'm using the moonlight as the source of highlights. I used the same treatment with all the castles that I put over there. Once that is done, I painted some fog or mist at the bottom portion of these castles to blend them better. I kept on duplicating those set of adjustment layers and clipped them to the village layer, the foreground and our ninja hero. I played with the exposure layer to get the tone values closest to the tone map that we created earlier. So here you can see I almost created a monochromatic effect of our composition with the tonal values with the lightest being at the farthest and the closest one having the darker shades. Now our sketch had that skeleton demon so I thought why not add some bones and some decayed parts on our undead samurai demon. With that done, I created a hue saturation layer in the shade of bluish green. I cranked up the saturation and the lightness and on the inverted layer mask, I painted with white to create the highlights that will be falling because of the moon. Now with that done, I created an exposure layer, took some dark values, inverted the layer mask and painted on it with white to create the shadow that will again be cast because of the moonlight. With some minor adjustments, I created that color tone of the fire. I took a dark orangish solid color fill, changed the blending mode to linear dodge and on the inverted layer mask I painted with white. Now this is where the composition will come to life and initially I had no idea like where this was going so after this I think we are proceeding at the right direction. Also I took some blank layers, changed the blending mode to lighten and with some dark orange color I painted the general glow of the fire on the smoke and also I created another layer with the blending mode of linear dodge, took more or less the same dark orange color and painted those bright orange glows on the smoke. I wanted to give a feel that the fire is burning bright under this huge plume of smoke and the smoke is being like lighten up from the bottom. I further darkened the tone of the smoke so that the glow pops out. Next I gave the same treatment with all the smoke that is out there. Now there can be no smoke without the fire. So I took some fire images and it's simple, changed the blending mode to screen, masked out the unwanted areas and placed them accordingly to what felt good to me. With that done, I normalized some tones on the villages because they had some white paints on the walls and all. So I kind of corrected them and matched them with the overall mood of our composition. Next, it's time to paint some highlights on the demon. I took another solid color fill in the shade of dark orange, changed the blending mode to linear dodge. On the inverted layer mask, I painted the highlights that will be falling on the demon because of the fire. Now I added some arrows over here, scaled it down and placed it on the armor. I wanted to give a feel that people have been fighting this demon and they have tried to resist it and their weapons, their arrows are stuck to it. Well, there can be no ninja hero without a fluttering headband. 
I took some pieces out of his clothes and used the warp tool to create that fluttering headband. Now I made an error over here and I'll revisit it again to correct it. Now it's time to do some highlights on our hero. I took the same dark orange, solid color fill, change the blending mode to linear dodge on the inverted layer mask I painted the highlights. Now you must have already know it by now, I have a dedicated video on how to do highlights and shadows. It's there in the description section, be sure to check it out, I hope you will find it helpful. Now once we have the highlights for the fire done, I used hue saturation layer to do the highlights for the moonlight. I took the hue in the shade of greenish blue, cranked up the lightness and the saturation and on the inverted layer mask I painted to show the highlights. I quickly created a shadow that will be falling on the ground and I also used an exposure layer to darken up our hero. Next it's time to place our Yin Yang symbol. I even thought about replacing it with a kanji symbol for the dragon but our drawing had that Yin Yang symbol so I thought it's perfectly cool to stay with the Yin Yang symbol. And I always love this one. So I placed it and also used the liquify tool to kind of bend it and match it with the fold in his dress. Next this is where things get interesting and I started adding some overall color grading. I created a color lookup table, I chose red, blue, yellow and it dramatically changed the appearance of our composition. Now it was not looking that good in the foreground so I used black color and painted on the layer mask to remove some parts of it. I also added another color lookup table and this time it's three strip and also I did the same thing I removed part from the foreground and our hero then I went ahead and added some color balanced and changed the sliders until it gave the correct vibe that I was looking for and finally I added one more color lookup table this is smoky and it already added that smoky greenish gray stone but I wanted to have that blue color on our sky so I erased parts of it with the mask and now you can see the final color grading that we'll be having on our composition we started with some nice blue on top and as it moved downward, it changed to green and then bright orange. Next we painted the eyes on our demon and it already started to look pretty menacing. I used linear dodge as blending mode and overlay on some other layers to create that glowing red eyes. I added some more overall color adjustments, I added some curves and then I added some vibrance and some brightness and contrast adjustments. Next I went ahead and corrected the fluttering headband, it should move from left to right because our wind direction is from left to right. You can get it from the direction of the smoke that I did. So it was flowing in the opposite direction and I corrected using the puppet warp tool. With that done I quickly corrected the highlights on this headband. Then I thought uh, since everything is destroyed and broken, the castles should also be destroyed or broken. So I took some photos of destroyed buildings and tried to add that broken areas on our castle. That also required me to correct the highlights. And once that is done, this is what it looked. I also added some smoke to give that burning feeling, but I didn't want it to go overboard because it will ruin the beautiful horizon with the castles that we did. Once done, I added some snow overlay and thought about turning it into ash. So I kept the direction from left to right, but I'll be changing it pretty soon. Then I added some sparks because everything is burning and I thought some sparks would make this scene look cool. With that done, I created a snapshot of everything and went into camera raw filter. I didn't change the settings that much. I just tweaked it a bit to add a little bit of pop to our composition. Then I went into the snow layer and I again flipped it horizontally so that it now looks like the snow is falling and the direction is according to the direction of the wind which is from left to right. Then I added some birds and I thought it would add some more life and variety to our composition and also it would give the feel that here everything is burning and the demon is coming so the birds are flying away from this area. And here we are with the final result. I even went ahead and added some Japanese script to our story. I'm not at all proficient in Japanese and I don't know if I got it right or not. It reads Ninja Ryu Den Saigo no Taiketsu, which roughly translates to The Legend of the Ninja Dragon, The Final Showdown. I'm pretty sure I got it wrong. If any one of you knows a Japanese, please feel free to correct me in the comments section below. But I'm so much into it, I had to add this at the end. And also I created a landscape version of this because I thought it would look more cinematic. So what do you think of this composition? I hope you found it helpful. If so, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel that will really really help me and motivate me to create more videos like this. 
and if you have any suggestions or any ideas about what i'll do next do let me know in the comment section below i'll see you in my next video and till then enjoy creating